It's May 7th, 2022, the Apex Year 2 Last Chance Qualifier, the final opportunity for teams to make it to the ALGS Championship LAN. Our main character, Greek, is fighting for one of two spots available, but things aren't looking good. The top of the dome here, now Joseph Sterling Phoenix, Phoenix that position advantage, they just lost two, yes, it's only up to Bowser, he's playing off the gravity lift, and he gets a crack, Bowser. he gets a knock, can he be a miracle worker? Almost, but unlucky at the very end. And, and little did he know, it would be the last time he competed in the Apex Legends Global Series. Go oh, down, Charlotte Phoenix. Caught in such an unfortunate situation. Greek Ooh. is the next one to fall, and there's only hey, one. Charlotte player. Phoenix on the receiving end of this one. Greek getting finished off. Stink going down. You can see the cost of gas still ticking away. Charlotte Phoenix out in seven. But sometimes in life, when the door of one opportunity closes, another one opens up. Greek might actually win this and end the tournament here. The Bro, oh, it's it's going crazy. crazy. Armor ah. stuff coming out from Skittles. And it's going to be one oh of the... Oh, my God. God. Skittles. Skittles got to go nuclear. Oh, my God. NRG. Dude. NRG. The From a young age, Greek was introduced to gaming and esports through his two older brothers. One of my older brothers played Counter-Strike at like the semi-pro level. I remember helping my brother pack like his computer into the car so he could drive to like Jersey for like a Counter-Strike win. That's where I kind of got introduced to esports really, really young. So when he picked up a controller himself, he knew he wanted to compete. I started playing like Call of Duty Search and Destroy wagers. And I remember I wasn't like old enough at the time. I'd use like my brother's like account. And this is where everything started. Fast forward to 2017, around the time Greek was 22 and the gaming world was completely different. The battle royale genre took over and Fortnite was becoming a cultural phenomenon, putting up hundreds of millions of dollars for their esports scene. Greek always chased the highest level of competition and dreamt of going pro, so he was leaderboard grinding both Fortnite and PUBG at the same time. Two seasons in a row on Fortnite, I was in the top 10 for wins on the duos ladder, and then on PUBG, I was on the leaderboards for solos. But then the next big VR dropped in 2019. Apex Legends, and with its successful launch, his friends convinced him to try out the game. The movement and how often you could get into fights mesmerized him, and suddenly, he started grinding to be one of the top Bangalores in the game. I had almost 40,000 kills on Bangalore, just ripped solo pubs, land hot drop Skulltown, and I would just do that <laughs> for like eight hours a day, just like kill grinding. This led to his first opportunity with an org, Prism Gaming. Prism, we weren't getting paid. I, I did get to experience two like mini lands, which I'm, I'm very thankful for because it, it kind of got me into like what esports is really about these lands were in the early days of apex but there's still many names that you'd recognize today and this taste of competition had greeks set on going to the next level when respawn announced the first official year of the algs online tournaments he dropped everything to switch to pc and within a week and a half two weeks i went on let go at the time and i got like a 700 pc like yeah bro i want to compete there wasn't immediate success because greek needed time to learn the game at this level Level against pros that have been competing for the last year and then Greek would encounter some barriers that wouldn't make his pursuit of gaming very easy. You know, my parents are very, very foreign. My entire family was born in Greece. Parents never really liked gaming. It was like super, super hard getting their, their approval and support for it. Like I always just wanted to, to get that approval from them and hear that like, you were right. Like you got something here, we're fully into it and, and supporting it with you. Throughout this whole time, Greek had been streaming on Mixer, but then used the opportunity of switching to PC to launch his stream on Twitch. He had his eyes set on one goal, get into the top 50 Discord, a community for players who made the top 50 Apex Predator rank to network and game together. So Greek started putting in the hours. And when he finally got the top 50 invite, it would be a huge turning point for Greek's career. It was just one random day, top 50 Discord. Wig and a prize put up an LF1. I was like a maybe 10 viewer streamer at the time. And I had hit them up and I was like, yo, like I'm down to play. They could have just completely egoed my message. They ended up like, yeah, bro, whatever. Like hop in. The chance to play with Nice Wig and a prize was huge. It was the catalyst that really kickstarted Greek's growth from 10 to 50 
15 viewers to a humble 50 to 100. We had like an absolute blast and I like was heavily focused on just like making sure that I never like threw game. And then they hit me up the next day. They were like, yo bro, like you want to run it back same time tomorrow? And we had played almost every single day since then. And the connections from there was building him into a staple of the Apex community. You want to know what it's like in Club Wally? Well, I'm going to show you. Oh my god, it's not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. Oh my god, snipe with a huge host. To get into the action, we man at 540 quick scope. Oh, he did it. That's Queen and for the victory. So everyone loves free food, right? Well then with HelloFresh, today's sponsor of the video, you can get yourself 16 free meals and free dessert for life if you're a new subscriber to the service. Whether I'm gaming, streaming, or editing YouTube videos like this one, I'm constantly hungry and constantly eating. I seriously need to go grab some food. We'll eat right here. I was getting pretty lightheaded. <laughs> HelloFresh makes meal prepping extremely convenient with over 45 recipes and market items that can be delivered right to your door. Is your favorite pro player Verholst? Maybe you love nice wigs watch parties. Well, if you're trying to look like either of those two guys and eat better, you can try and choose from their 30 calorie smart or protein smart recipes each week. They have different options to fit your needs like the quick and easy lineup with 20 minute recipes to minimize stress if your schedule is packed. It's America's number one meal kit solution, so no more staring blankly at your fridge. Each box is packed with fresh ingredients and is pre-portioned so you don't even have to think about it. So you can click the link in the description or use my code and get 16 free meals plus dessert for life while your subscription is is active. Around the beginning of 2021, with the winter circuit, Greek found himself making it to the top 10. There you have it, the Wally Catchers, again, the rising stars of the winter circuit. So far, so good in this edition. Beating out the likes of Complexity, Sentinels, and even NRG. And another ninth place finish at the winter circuit playoffs. Auto qualified Greek, Stink, and Kodagami, his teammates, part of Club Wally for the year one ALGS championship. It was the biggest online tournament with over $700,000 up for grabs. I think about that, that tournament, and I like still get goosebumps to this day. That was like my first major, major tournament. Like all the eyes, all the lights, it felt like they were on that tournament. After three days, they made it all the way to the finals. Let's go! Let's go, dude! Let's go! Unfortunately for their first big tournament, Club Wally fell short. They settled on Refinery at the time, which was arguably the worst POI in the game. During that tournament, it was my little phony. I had worked my ass off creating these rotations to avoid all of these really, really good teams. But the one thing I didn't account for was Phony's team at Epi. They switched to Octane Revenant and it was like game three through six, Revenant sending us off spawn and they killed us. I think it was almost every time. Now I'm, I'm boys with them. I love them to death, but it was just like at the time I was so, so salty. We were in like fifth and I think we finished in like, I don't even know, like maybe 15th, 16th. But their recent performance captured the attention of Esports or Charlotte Phoenix. Shortly after the championship, they signed Club Wally, and it was the first time Greek was a part of a legitimate org. This gave him the confidence to compete going into the year two ALGS regular season, and Charlotte Phoenix was invited to the revamped ALGS Pro League, a format introducing two six week regular season splits, more money up for grabs, and the promise to return back to land. But when the season began, Greek and his team were never able to find their footing. CLT finished 26th out of 40 teams and didn't qualify for the split one playoffs by six spots. With another low placement, missing out on tournament earnings, and his stream not taking off as much as he'd hoped, there were moments where Greek thought he may have to quit. I, I remember back then I was always constantly like just rushing like this delivery here quick so I can leave and make it home for scrims by 4, 4.30 or whatever it may be. Uh, because my streaming career didn't really pick up while I was working part time, it was hard to kind of tell my family, hey, yeah, like I'm not going to be available as much to work at the pizzeria. If it was like a normal part time job. Maybe it would have been easier, but like it's the family, you know, like I, I can't let the family down that my family always came first. And that's when Greek would get a very surprising message. It was a random text message one day from Wig. And, you know, we had been friends for like a whole year 
year, year and a half saying, hey, I have to move for uh, 100 Thieves to be in LA. So I'm like, do you guys want to live together? But like, I'm actually moving like in two weeks. <laughs> kind of need like an answer from you guys. Like, in the next coming days. At this time, Nicewig's career had been on the rise. He retired from competing, was signed to 100 Thieves, and was beginning his real journey into content creation. But this wasn't an easy choice for Greek. I remember sitting down at the kitchen table with my mother and father trying to tell them, hey, um, you know, I'm, I'm still under CLT, so I'm, I'm making this much like guaranteed, and then whatever my stream brings in, I was like, mom, listen, like, I think there's gonna be a time where if I don't do this, this will be like one of the biggest regrets I'll ever have in my life. Uh, this is like a very, very difficult decision, but they were like, if you are this passionate about it, we'll let you do it. Despite the risk, it was a risk he knew he needed to take. And two weeks after that conversation, Wig picked me up from the airport, came to LA with like almost nothing, took a chance with everything in like the streaming industry. I almost like tear up just thinking about this. Story. And this decision would change Greek's life forever. I had a really, really long phone call with Mama Wig. She has been like a second mother to me. And she was like, hey, listen, like, and I know you're thinking a lot about like money and what you're making now. I think this is, this is that risk that you need to take in order to like really start your career. And like, I remember that phone call, man. <laughs> Nice week started watch partying ALGS, providing an extra layer of knowledge with his competitive background and entertainment with his loud personality. By being in LA, Greek would join in the background of Wig's streams on days that he wasn't competing or didn't qualify like the split one playoffs. Now, Greek still qualified for the split two regular season, and competing was his main drive, as he was still signed to CLT as a pro player. The upcoming split two playoffs was going to be the long-awaited return to land. To qualify, a team needed to make it to top 10 for the North American region. And for back-to-back -back splits, Greek's team found themselves in 26th place again. So he wouldn't be competing at land. But it didn't mean he wouldn't be going. This is not a green screen. Hey, let's make things clear. We are alive from Star. Listen, listen. You know, he had gotten a call with this opportunity to do a live B stream. In a zone like this, with the tight quarters and buildings, caustic is phenomenal. Also, we want you to have like a co-host. And Wig instantly was like, I'm bringing Greek. Like, I do it with him already. Like, I, I don't want anyone else. And like the aggressive play from Knox here, he might be able to get this knock. And he and does. He does. FNX going down here in the bubble fight. Great movement from the player over there. Frog's going down right now. And it's going to be a 2v1 scenario. Can they do it? And, and there we go. Optic Gaming, like you called Greek. So like, I remember like hugging him, dapping him up. It was like, bro, there's, there's the best part. I was like, what? He was like, they said you, they want you on there too. There was one time where I was playing in an ALGS finals, yeah. five minute delay. We end up dying off spawn, right? And I'm just hard tilted. And I look over and this guy goes, how the hell are you playing in this tournament? It's not a green screen, guys. It's never been. And I, I like almost started crying. Hashtag, this is not a green screen. Look at this, listen, listen. And it was, it was that Sweden tournament kind of shifted my parents over. Out of like 50-50 to like more supportive. And Rick might take this home. And there we go. Optic Gaming eliminating right there on LG. Skittle Cakes going down. Rick oh my God. It's going to be a Rick win. Oh my God. Win. The first land B stream was wildly successful. Fans loved the energy Greek and Wig brought. The funny banter, but also the analysis of two pro players. And so now it's May 7th. 2022, the Apex Year 2 Last Chance Qualifier, the final opportunity for teams to make it to the ALGS Championship land. Our main character, Greek, is fighting for one of two spots available, but things aren't looking good. He missed out on land once again, but sometimes when the door of one opportunity closes, another opens as the B stream was brought back for the Year 2 Championship. For a Twitter ball, that's all she wants, Greek. Oh, and they get Oh on. my god, and he collaterals! He collaterals with the GW! Oh, oh my, my god! god. You, you, one, you have one job if you are a fan here at the vet. Not show sack. Give me Greek. I go for you too. AD is thing. looking to third this though. I think it's a 2v2. Right on the PK. Great knock. Oh, 1v1 KRPR do it. Is oh, he going to win it? Oh no, my it. god. And AD just went crazy. All right. I'll give the follow, but I'm not getting my toes sucked. That is I don't want to see a single comment about, man, these guys are camping. Nothing. They're camping. Nothing. They're ratting. They're playing for $2 million. Your pits are ripe right now. They're ripe.
And it's only game one. Greek realized they could be doing so much more though. So in year three, Greek retired from pro play and finally went full time into content creation. And together with Wig, dedicated thousands of hours to watch partying every single region. We could be so much better. There were times these guys are out here traveling from all over the world and I'm doing them the disservice of not even knowing how to pronounce their name correctly, never again. And we started like quizzing each other and knew every region, every team that we were, we both set it in stone. We we're like, we're gonna start watch partying everything. And for year three, they brought the B stream back, this time bigger and better, getting to be right in the main arena with As all you tell, the teams. We are literally live from London. We are live. We are in the stadium this time. We're not in a small cubicle. Shout out to Shaheen. You know how we do a tier chat. Every time we just get better. While the B stream was always well received, their efforts were noticed. As compared to the first two lands, their commentary and analysis were cleaner and elevated. Complexity taking the cannon here, but this is going to be not that great of a hold here for Complexity. No, I think Complexity is going to struggle here too. We're going to turn over to Riddle and see what they do. They're going to apply that. So what most people don't know, we have sometimes a two PC setup, sometimes three. I have the map up open on my monitor, constantly looking around for like potential POV switches. Like And Monsoon and Company. Company, down to just one player. You called it. We said Gombre was going to start shooting them, bro. Looking on their backside, and that cannon just impossible to hold, and they have a triple take. Obviously, Wig, he's the overall voice of the B stream. He always gave me that green light of like when I feel there is something that needs to be switched, I can chime in whenever, and he won't like interrupt me. XS going to go for the Q up here on TSM. This this could be the play of the tournament here. And like at first people were like, man, this Greek guy, you know, like he's not talking as much or like he seems like uninterested or like not locked in, not focused. And I'm like, I've, I've never been more locked in. I don't think they're not expecting it. But they're not expecting it. TSM. And TSM gets queued on. Oh my God. Can I set do it? They get one knock. They get two. And TSM. TSM. And then at the championship, it became Greek's biggest test. Wig would lose his voice going into the finals on Sunday. So Greek had to take on a bigger role, become a dominant voice, and carry the B stream. Knock, seeks the catwalk, gets a one clip on the press. Four shots going up, knock, gets two. Optic in a 2v1. Drop with the shots. And, and Optic. Optic. Roy on the swing. Takes a good amount of damage, but here comes the Prowler from Pike. And he gets the knock on the post. And Dreamfire, Dreamfire, with a massive win. Realize eliminated, Optic now. They're already, let's go baby. Optic now, first team to pass that match point threshold. If they win this next game, it is all over. This is bad for Optic. This is very bad for Optic. Knock, it's a knock on a sweep. Do we do, do we do, do we do. Skittles gotta go nuclear. Oh my God. NRG, NRG. People's champion. Optic was so close. I almost just shit. Phase eliminated. And TSM and the crowd going insane. TSM needed that dub. That might start the momentum shift. All down knock. One HP it's up to drop. He's gonna get the bat off in the air. Timmy's going nuclear. And it's looking like Dojo. Dojo might take it. Dojo versus TSM. And Dojo How? 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 Oh my god! Shit, Holy what did we shit. just watch? All right, here we go. The Q up over from TSM. How's gonna land on the other side of the wall and look to do some damage. Wait. He lands behind the valve with no sound. Oh my God, wait a minute, it's not over yet. 1v2, 1v1, TSM. I TSM, it's over. It is over, it's all over. It's over. TSM it is wins it, baby. It is all oh over. Oh my God, yet again. Wow. Three in a row to end it. Since the year three championship and with the beginning of the year four pro league, Greek stream has been on an incredible rise, breaking personal viewership records, sub records, and becoming the go-to stream for keeping up with EMEA scrims. But most of all, he showed his parents that his passion really could turn into something big. He's become one of the most influential characters for growing the competitive Apex scene. Apex has even expanded their B stream to have coverage in multiple different languages, which is tough to think would be possible without the efforts from Greek and Nicewick. And of course, the B stream was once again signed for year four. So this is a story to remind yourself to follow your passion, take risks and bet on yourself because before you know it, you may be out in Japan casting video games with your best friend. And I mean, if you're going to watch the story of Greek, you got to click right here for the full story of Nicewick.